early morning in high wind and rain. The plan? To install the technology to harness the power of the sun. Well, we're putting 40 kilowatts of solar power on top of a community building in Stokescroft, Hamilton House. The idea is that eventually other community centres will have solar power on and from other community centres we plan to install whole streets of solar in Bristol. It may seem an ambitious project, but the ambition doesn't stop there. Actually, we'll get most of our energy from the sun within perhaps as little as 10 years, maybe not as long as the government thinks. And that um, the right way to do that is to install solar panels whole streets at a time. But you have to start somewhere, and we're starting with the building that we work in. But it's not just the tenants here who will be benefiting. We're creating jobs in Bristol by installing solar energy on our roofs. And once we've got that energy, we're making that energy in the city. Money isn't going outside Bristol to pay for the cost of energy. Everybody benefits from cheaper electricity. Every time we make uh, electricity from the roof, we're not burning some coal somewhere. So the planet benefits. If there's a profit, then we plan to share that within the community as well. The mission didn't go ahead quite as planned on day one. This is great. The crane's in place and they've tested putting it up in the sky and there's a little anemometer on the top of it and it says the wind's too strong. All the team could do was wait. So the Met Office are saying that the wind is going to be less tomorrow morning. So we're going to stick around till the afternoon to see if it can be done, but best guess is come in nice and early tomorrow morning and get the blocks and the panels up then. And they did hang around all that day, frustrating as the clock was ticking. If we weren't able to do it by Monday, this would be quite expensive because there's a deadline coming up. The government was bringing in a change to the incentives for people to install solar. From April, they introduced the feed-in tariffs at 43.3 pence per kilowatt, over three times the cost of purchasing electricity. This is meant to encourage people to install solar, and it has. The solar industry has doubled and doubled again. The government's budget had burned through very quickly, so the tariff was due to drop by 50%. We've got a fallback plan, as it were. At the worst, we could actually manhandle the stuff up through lifts and so on. And that's exactly what they did. After the crane left, because it was too windy, we found that we could move panels uh, past an obstruction at the top of the lift shaft, a big water tank on the roof, uh, and we carried them all up. The team was now working through the weekend to get the job completed before the government's deadline. Plenty of room, plenty of time, plenty of money, as my dad used to say. It's only Saturday morning uh, and we have until Sunday midnight. And I think we'll have the job mostly done by the end of today. All the electrics are in place, so it's just a matter of fitting the panels, stringing them together uh, on the mounting systems and testing them. We'll get there. Fully confident. And he was right. The team completed the installation with just hours to spare. And the future for this community building looks green, at least in this light. What we're seeing from what we've done is that it's not too difficult and it's profitable. And pretty soon, even without an incentive, solar energy will pay for itself. <laughs>